Not everybody completes their assignment because they often find themselves burnt out and they give up on what God has called them to do. I want to encourage you with something today. It is so easy as a children's ministry leader and volunteer to find yourself burnt out. I hear it every week, uh, not just in my, I don't necessarily hear it every week in my church, but from leaders all over. Ryan, I'm feeling burnt out. Sometimes I get those volunteers that come to me at my church, I'm feeling burnt out. And I want to take a few minutes and encourage you today because listen, you know, not everybody completes their assignment. And you have an assignment you've been given by the Lord and by your pastor. And, and not everybody completes their assignment because they often find themselves burnt out. And they give up on what God has called them to do. Now here's the thing. Nobody ever starts serving in children's ministry intending to burn out. But it still happens. But listen, here's the thing. You can avoid the burnout trap. One of the best ways to avoid the burnout trap is to make sure you are taking care of yourself spiritually. It's easy to give, 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 and bless, and teach, and love. But if I am not taking care of myself spiritually, I'll dry up. So I've got to take care of myself spiritually. I've got to make sure I'm getting the rest that I need. I need to make sure that I'm not relying on my pastor to encourage me, but I am finding my encouragement in the Lord. I am remembering the one who called me. I am keeping my eye on the prize. I am pacing myself in life. A lot of times when someone burns out, really what's happening in their life is that there are needs in their life that aren't being met. And so if you want to avoid burnout in your job, in your ministry, really in any area of your life, make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Take care of yourself physically. Take care of yourself emotionally. Take care of yourself spiritually. And remember the one who is with you. He said in Matthew 28, I will never leave you or forsake you. Jesus is with you today, friend.